Nigeria has long been a hotspot for football talent. Like many youngsters, Solomon John always dreamt of becoming Africa's best football player. But as fate would have it, John is now a coach at the Unique Star Soccer Academy. The program has reached out to about 18,000 youth in disadvantaged communities across Africa. What motivated me to start was uh, because I saw so many street kids in communities and then most of them are involved in social vices such as drug abuse, sexual harassment and so on. So I said, okay, how, how can I uh, come, with, come up with strategies on how to solve all of these challenges? So and I said, okay, I'm going to in, involve uh, most, I'm going to channel the energies into sport activities. John has successfully handpicked over 64 young football players in 15 different communities, including here at Waru Community. He moves from street to street, identifying players with potential. He also has to convince parents to allow their children to join the Soccer Academy, which aims to create a platform for young athletes to develop their talent and build their careers. I went to the houses to inform the parents and seek approval for their children to participate in our training programs. And what we also did was, uh, those that love soccer, we, we bought them jerseys to encourage them. And because most of them are, are less privileged, most of them uh, don't have parents, they just they hang out, they're street kids. One of John's former protégés, Dixon Chinonso, is now playing for Nigeria's under-15 national team. Many of the kids in this community have the right combination of passion and talent but they lack social support. So uh, this is one of the, the young people which we picked from the slum and now is international. This is Austin, the ball freestyler. We picked him from Waru community. And now Austin, the, the freestyler, is now global. So Austin, can you just give us a little freestyle? And uh, this is uh, one of our achievements. He won the Ballon d'Or at the Fit and Tricks International uh, Freestyle Competition. Abaribota Austin currently hosts the Freestyler Award at the Feet and Tricks International Competition. He is grateful for the chance to pursue a career in football. I was doing it in the ghetto before, at a very dirty area, smelling area. So when I was now opportunity, they now gave me a slot that I should go to go and present in South Africa. And I knew that, okay, yeah, this is official. And when I won the award. Of course, every success story comes with challenges. From finding a good place to practice, to buying jerseys and other equipment, and taking care of the kids, it all requires money. That's why John Solomon relies on funding. The registration for the Unique Stars Academy is totally free. Gathering these young people, uh, you, actually you need funds. Like what we did was, they, we, we got a grant of 10,000 US dollars the first time to do, to, to buy football boots and also buy other things they need for, like balls and cones for, for training. And also we got, we got over 30,000 US dollars grant. The US Embassy in Abuja uses that money to support the project. The Unique Star Soccer Academy has won both local and international awards. John's team has already won one tournament, but they are still aiming for greater success. 